Hello, my name is Mike Morton with Keysight Technologies, and today I'd like to show you a quick video on how to redeem a license using the Keysight Software Manager. You may have received an entitlement certificate after a purchase, and that purchase may have been for software that runs on a PC or software that runs on an instrument. It may also be for instrument options, etc. But whatever the feature is, you'll get something that looks like this, an entitlement certificate. And this, this was either emailed to you or it was delivered on a tan colored parchment paper uh, delivered via the Postal Service. So no matter how you get this entitlement certificate, uh, these instructions are the same. The main areas of the entitlement certificate are namely the product that you purchased. The, in this case, it's an 89601BU. It happens to be an upgrade subscription and the quantity that you have purchased. Other key areas of the entitlement certificate and ones to know for doing the redemption process, which I'll be showing you, is the, on the top of the entitlement certificate, there's a key site order number and also the certificate number. Instructions for redeeming this and, and continuing on getting your license are near the bottom in the instructions section. So let's see how this works. So for redeeming a license using the Keysight Software Manager, you need a couple things. First of all, the entitlement certificates, which is an example of I just showed. You also need a KSM profile. If you don't have a profile, uh, there I'll be showing you how to uh, create one. And you must have the host ID or PC instrument that it'll the, the license will be installed in. But after you have those things, getting the license is basically two steps with a few subparts. You first add your entitlement to your Keysight Software Manager profile by following these steps at this URL. And then you click on, you can add a new certificate and enter the order number and certificate number. When you do that and you add the certificate, it'll ask you if you want to redeem the licenses now. And if no, you are returned back out to the main menu and then you'll continue on to step three where you click on you can request new licenses and continue through the process. If you say yes, you end up skipping step three and going right into step four. The first step in redeeming your entitlement certificate is to go to your entitlement certificate and log on to the website contained in the instructions in the certificate. Here I'm copying it to my clipboard and going to the, that URL. Once you're to the software manager website, you have a choice of if you're the first time user or if you're a returning user. If you're not a returning user, you may register for a KSM profile using the register link. I will use the returning user. You first use your login name, which is typically your email address, and enter your password. Once you log into your profile, you may come to a page that looks like this. What you've really logged into is a My Keysight account profile. In order to get to Keysight Software Manager, please click on the Keysight Software Manager link. Once you're in Keysight Software Manager, it should look something like this. You will always have, you can add a certificate, but you may or may not have these other bubbles of things you can do in your profile. To add a certificate to your profile, click on the bubble you can add a new certificate. It will then take you into the, the add certificate portion where you'll enter your order number and certificate number from the entitlement certificate itself. What you can do is go to the entitlement certificate, copy out the order number, and the certificate number.
and hit continue. It will then come to a page that basically is saying, add the certificate to your profile and what it contains, which it contains the 89601BU-Option 12. Once, once this is confirmed, press the Add Certificate button. You'll come to a page that says you have successfully added the certificate for your order number to your profile. Click OK to finish. At this point in the redemption process, you will actually really get a screen that looks more like this, where, and now this doesn't match my previous certificate because the certificate I added was actually for a sub subscription and not an actual license file. But if, if this were, a, like for example, what's shown here in N7620BL with these connectivity options and features, you would actually get a question that says, do you want to get your licenses now? And if you click yes, it will continue on the process of, of redeeming them to a host. In my case, I have to select no. I will get them later so I can show you where to pick up in the next step. Okay, I've selected no on the previous step. So it takes me back out to my home page. And the next step is I can request new licenses. So I click on that bubble. And if you had selected yes in the previous step, you would have come straight to this page. So in this step, it, it's saying you have these features that you want to install or that you want to, that are available to license and you want to assign them to a host ID. So you can either click, if you've got some in your list of things of, you know, of model and serial numbers or, or PC software serial numbers that have already been used in your profile, they'll show up. Otherwise, you can click add a new host. Now, in order to know what host ID to enter here, there's several ways. Um, if this were an instrument option, it would actually just give you a model field and a serial number field. But VSA software is, is PC software. It always runs on a PC, so it's copied from the host ID from the Keysight license notifier. To get to the Keysight license notifier, you can go to Start All Programs in your uh, tray. This is on your PC. And go into Keysight License Manager and open Keysight License Manager. The software will look similar to this. So this is showing me the licenses that currently are installed on my on this PC as well as the host ID number. And this is the host ID we'll enter into Keysight License Manager. And there's a copy button you can cl click there and it goes straight to your clipboard and you can literally go paste and it copied it over. Now you select the licenses you want to assign to this host. So in this case, I'll be selecting all of them, the 200, 300, AYA, and BHF, and click Assign Licenses. This page is a review and submit where it's saying that the assigned licenses are now going to be assigned to this host with this host ID, PC Cerno, and the serial number. And the features that are going to be assigned are 200, 300, AYA, and BHF. Basically, it's a chance to say cancel and go back or to continue, to basically confirm the selections and to continue. You may want to double check your, your host ID to make sure it's correct, especially if you typed it in. Hit continue. And you should come to a page where it'll allow you to enter an email address on where you want the license file sent. So it's already pre-populated with my email address. You can CC anyone you want, and you say request licenses. In a few minutes, you, you should receive an email with your license files attached with instructions on it in order to install the licenses onto your PC or instrument. Okay, I've now received the email with the license file attached. There is instructions on how to install the licenses in these five steps here. The instructions may be slightly different depending on what product it's for. 
but in general there will always be instructions on how to install it. So what this one is saying is you take the license file and you save it on the machine where you're going to uh, install it on. So because I am installing it on this machine, I'll just go ahead and save this to my temp directory. I'll go to my Keysight License Manager and I'm pointed to the machine that I want to install it on and I'll say File Install. Point to my temp directory or wherever you stored it. This could have also been saved to a USB thumb drive to take to another instrument. Uh, however you get the file there to that machine, it doesn't matter. But And then you click Open and the license file will in install. So here we go with the 200, 300 AYA and BHF. Thanks for watching.